What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video it's going to be a, a response to a viewer question about well okay I got into a, a few medical schools how do I pick which one I go to now? Well that's great I'm glad to hear you know things it, it that always happens you know it's like you never think you're gonna get in and then suddenly you get into like a good number of schools you're like hey things are working out. So I was in your same shoes I was picking between schools and I was like never thought that would happen I just thought I'd get into zero or one but you no know, you get into a few and you're like okay now what do I how do I pick? So for me, I had that question. I was debating between staying in um, on the West Coast or going to the East Coast. Um, and there's multiple factors you need to think about. And I ultimately made my decision after like talking to my own primary care physician and been like, hey, so how did you pick? And what do you think about my situation? So he kind of, the advice he gave me and I liked it was that you need to pick a school where most importantly you're going to be happy. And that sounds a little weird, like, what do you mean happy? You need to be at a place where you're not distracted by annoying things. You're not distracted by family problems or personal problems. You kind of need to be in Disneyland mode. Medical school needs to go well, right? So you need to be in a place where you're happy. You don't have... Uh, financial distractions, mental distractions, you're close enough to family or you're far enough from family, whatever you like that makes you comfortable and happy. Because when you're like relaxed and you know, we all know like that relaxed, mellow state, you can learn really well. And you need, kind of need to be like that all the time in medical school because it moves fast, it's a quick paced curriculum, and whatever you don't learn, good, you know, it's like you gotta squeeze it in somewhere else, and that's just really tough. So better to learn it the first time around. And for him, and that was a great point that he made. For someone like me who grew up on the West Coast, I'm used to having great weather, I'm used to the sunshine, I'm used to the kind of liberal environment of the West Coast. He's like, well, how do you think you'll feel on the East Coast? And for me, I kind of realized staying on the West Coast would probably be my best option. I'm comfortable here, I'm happy here, I'm familiar with everything here. I'm cl to me, it was very important to be close to family and close enough to family that I'm happy. Um, of course, I prefer to be closer, but what can you do? You know, so that was kind of the important point. I liked the environment where I could be happy and I wanted to be close to family. You need to pick whatever is important to you. And why did he say that? He said, Muhammad, the first two years, the whole point is you need to do well in step one. And I was like, oh, God almighty, I hate, you know, you hate hearing things like that. It's like, you know, it's tests are your whole world. But I guess in the reality, a step one's important, yes. Is it as important as he said? I don't know. But it's important, yes. And that kind of made sense that, you know, if you're happy, if you're in a good place, if you're comfortable in life and you're learning well, you should hopefully do well in step one. Who knows? And that kind of idea made sense. So that was like the foundational thing he told me, and I like that a lot. So think about that yourself. Where do you want to go to school? Are you going to be happy there? Are you going to be comfortable? Are you going to be learning, you know, freely and easily and well? Or are you going to be upset and kind of like, you know, homesick and you can't focus well and you're distracted and you're always finding other things to do than studying? So make sure you find a good place because if you study well, you'll do well in step one. And as my MD said, that's important, but everyone knows step one is an important exam, so better to do well. But at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice. Many schools have great opportunities. My school research is very big. And I, and I did research myself you know, before second year started, and it was great. So I'm very happy that I came here, and I'm very happy to be able to do the research that I did. So you need to say, okay, so there is that whole aspect of I need to be happy, I need to study, I need to do well in school and exams in step one. But then years three and four, what do they have to offer me? Do I have the rotations? Do I have electives? Do I have research opportunities? Do I have other things that the school can offer me that's going to be important? And that's a secondary thing to think about. Because if you're not happy in the first place and you do horrible on all your exams, Come on, you know you gotta do on your exams, and then you gotta find a place that has things that are gonna appeal to you that you can take advantage of and do well and kind of thrive and grow as a person, and hopefully into it being a physician. So pick a place that has things you're interested in. If family practice or family care or primary primary care is really important to you, there are schools that really emphasize that. If research is really important to you, there's schools that really emphasize that. Know what you you know what you want yourself and find the school that has that. And thirdly, the last, I guess, thing, you have to pick a place where you're going to be kind of happy to go. And the happiness sense that you're proud to go to that school. Um, you know, you, a lot of people get, like, apply to good schools and mediocre, like, backup schools, but you have to go somewhere. And I think this falls under the notion of pedigree. You want to have a good pedigree. I don't know how important pedigree is. I mean, to me, it's like, is that an old saying? Is that still relevant today? I don't know. That you need to figure out. But I would say 
don't forget pedigree. Think about it. Keep it at the back of the mind. Talk to MDs. Talk to people around you. Try to figure out how important pedigree is. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't want to give you an answer I'm not comfortable with, but I think it's something you should think about. All right. I hope that helps. The number one point of being happy and doing well in school is the most important. Uh, do you want to be around family? What kind of weather? I know that these things sound trivial, but this is you know you're, you're kind of getting ready for a very serious uh, next four years. So you want to be happy and comfortable, and you want to have the opportunities available to you. You don't want to be held you know back. You want to be able to thrive and move forward. So hopefully you make a good choice. There is no wrong choice. In the end, you'll be an MD. You'll be doing what you love. Don't worry about it. But hopefully you'll be, you'll be happier throughout that whole process of getting there. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I hope it helps the viewer that asked the question. Uh, it was an important question that I wondered when I was doing the, uh, when I was picking a school at the end. If you have any questions similar to this, if you want in a different video, let me know. Leave a comment below. Send me a message, whatever you like, and I'll try to get back to you. And as always, everyone, enjoy your studies.